What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So keeping consistent with its recent release cycles, it is another good Monday. Apple just dropped iOS 18 Beta 3. And as you can see here, we are pulling it in as we speak and I'm definitely excited to see what this has to offer. We are expecting a big July from Apple in these betas. Public Beta 1 should be out here in the next near future. We should be receiving Apple Intelligence. It's summer in the US. That is supposed to drop here in beta form soon enough as well. Let's see if it's in here. We're not quite sure. I did say in another video, the betas have been destroying battery life more than what it typically has done. So just to call out if you're excited to jump on the wagon, battery health has definitely taken a hit on this, but let's jump in, take a look at our normal spiel and go from there. Okay, so as you can see, iOS 18 beta three just finished installing. And right off the bat, I can tell you this loaded a whole lot easier than it has in the past. Uh, the install just finished about 30 seconds ago. Let's do our typical temperature check. And you can see, unsurprisingly, it is hanging out right around 100 degrees, plus or minus a little bit. That was a bigger jump there. Uh, again, showing that heat management is still an opportunity for Apple. That's kind of unacceptable. We know by now Android phones actually have much better heat disbursement and hopefully, ooh, that's actually a record right there, 111. Uh, hopefully in the next iPhone, uh, for the iPhone 16 Pro, Pro Max, they're allegedly gonna use copper to help differentiate and help the heating improve. But for now, that's what you can kind of expect from that. Moving on, this build was about 1.18 gigabytes, which is about on par with what we've seen in the past. And jumping into settings, general, about iOS version number, you can see right here, we currently have an F build of 22A5307F, which means we definitely still have plenty of more betas to come, uh, which actually could also answer for why we don't currently have uh, Apple intelligence built in. Let me turn down the brightness so it's not too bright for you guys. Yeah, that's a little bit of a disappointment, so spoiler alert, right off the bat, no Apple intelligence here. If you scroll down and go to Siri, yeah, it's still same old Siri, nothing new here at all. A little bit of a disappointment, but take that for what you want. Possibly beta four, which also possibly leads me to believe this might be the first public beta since that's not included, uh, or it could be pushed to beta four, becoming that first public beta as well. One other call out, like we said in that introduction, is the battery. iOS 18 betas have been horrible on battery life, which isn't surprising for anybody who's used to the beta cycles. But just to show you uh, kind of what we're looking at. Now, this is a new little splash screen. Update finished in background. You can use your iPhone as you normally would while a recent software update finishes. This could take a while. Battery life and thermal performance may improve once finished. Interesting disclaimer there. Uh, but anyways, if you jump into battery health, you can see after 319 charges, we are down to 96%. Funny enough, until the beta cycles started, we were right at 100%. So that should let you know what to expect there. A little disappointing nonetheless, but expect there to be a drop. Now, one of the big changes here that we've heard of is app icons in dark mode. So if you go into edit and customize now, if we go into dark mode, allegedly, it is actually impacting third party applications and that's actually probably a clean looking Tesla app icon I've never seen before, but you can see the YouTube TV app, DoorDash, State Farm, all these apps did currently actually change. Let's actually go back to light and you can see the difference. That is actually nice to see. Also what we're not seeing luckily is that, let's go back to automatic here, is that it is not giving us that like springboard look where there was no app icon it is actually working as anticipated here. One other thing I want to get to is go into the Photos app and you can see now without having to swipe down, you can select multiple pictures at a time, which is a nice improvement over not being able to do that earlier. So those are a quick look at what's new here. Again, unfortunately, jumping into settings. Yeah, there's no great massive change here. Not seeing anything for shortcuts still. These are all the same as they have been. So we'll do a deeper dive here in the near future just to see what we're able to come up with. 
But just want to let you know, it's out. If you're looking to jump into the developer program or you are already a registered developer, grab iOS 18 Beta 3. It's out over the air. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.